Welcome back. I'm done with phase one of my reorganization of my workbench. You'll see here I got my drawers installed. Quick, uh, easy weekend undertaking. As you notice, uh, I went and made some changes. I was going to put these two large drawers next to each other. I went down to the reuse shop and ended up finding this drawer for ten dollars. So I made that fit, painted it, put the uh, the border on it. So here's here's what my uh, progress of me doing phase one and putting the rest of the drawers and all that. So, but this is the end result. Well, similar to what I did for the first set of drawers, I'm going to install a frame in the bench leg so I can attach the drawer frame to. So here I'm doing some pocket holes. Well, I had a lot of questions on how I got the frame, the drawer frame, up there before I got it to screw. Well, basically, there it is. I used that bucket down below, got me up high enough, and then clamped it down. So now I'm ready to screw it into the uh, bottom of the workbench. Well, I'm going to use these flat screws to hold the uh, door frame in under the uh, workbench. Well, here's a quick and easy tip to secure those angle supports that you might have on cabinets or drawers like this. Just cut an angle block out of a piece of scrap. Here's one. I may just cut it 45 degree out and use that to, to glue up those angle supports. Works pretty good.
put some fillers in there. As you can see, a little change here for the center door in. So I'm going to redo all this now and make some sort of, a, I think, some sort of slapped storage system. I've seen those in a couple videos. So I'm going to try to go with that. So we'll put, put some shower, or some slapped uh, boards in here and storage system and shop light above us. And we'll see how that goes. So. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on my phase two.